I have 429 records I've recorded through the years. I am the oldest blues singer living now, black blues singer that is. Yeah. Listen, I want you to listen for a minute. I want you to listen for a minute. I think next to me will be Buddha Guy that are living today. Yeah. We don't have the B.B. King and the Sam David Jr. The B.B. King and Smoker Hall, Smoker Robinson, John Lee Hooker and all the guys that I came up respecting and listened to, they're not with us anymore. I don't claim to be a young boy, but I am blessed. Next November the 10th, wow. I'm 91 years old. Absolutely. God has blessed me to be around. I was born in a little place called Homer, Hainesville, Louisiana. I left in 1947 myself, Ray Charles, Fess Domino, Louis Jordan. I went to Pine Bluff, Arkansas, where I started my band with my father, who was a preacher and a pastor of two churches. I wanted to get to Chicago so bad because of Willie Dixon, Muddy Water, and Howlin' Wolf, all the big guys. They was real old. They were 29 years old. <laughs> I wanted to get there so bad I didn't have enough money to buy a ticket to Pine Bluff, Arkansas, to Chicago, because it cost eight dollar and seventy-five cents. So I bought a ticket from Arkansas to Memphis, Tennessee, where B.B. King, Sonny Boy Williamson, was playing on Bill Street. I worked on Bill Street for $7 a week till I got enough money to go to East St. Louis where Chuck Berry and Albert King was. Then later that year, I had enough money to go to Chicago where Muddy Water, Holly Wolf, John Lee Hooker, all the big boys. <laughs> I was in heaven, I thought. But I got a job, J. Illinois, Muddy Water, taking me to the suburb of Chicago. Being from the South, I said, I'm in heaven now. As a black man, I can go where I want to, do what I want to, eat where I want to, sleep where I want to, do what I want to, and yeah. <laughs> But Bud Water taking me out to the suburb of Chicago. I got a job. Place looked like this, good. 99% white audience. That I wasn't used to. He built a curtain across the stage, small stage, up over the bar, where I played every night behind a curtain, where they want to see didn't want to see my face, but didn't want to hear my music, myself in Muddy Waters. A lot of guys don't talk about that. I'm talking about that now because I'm, I'm gonna play some music, relate to all of this. But look how God has yeah. blessed us to come from that to this. And look at you. <laughs> Got young ladies and men in the house. But the only thing, come on, baby, let her up out, let her up out. I thought she was coming to me. I said, hey, <laughs> Yeah, to your brother, to your brother. I said that because God had blessed me to be around. In 1957, I got drunk off of three beers. Only three beers I ever had in my life was 1957 with Muddy Waters. Three of them. I had one before a sense. That don't mean I'm so good. I got a lot of shit wrong with me. <laughs> I still look at big leg ladies, they'll kill you too. <laughs> How you doing, baby? <laughs> right. you, you're by yourself? Yeah. You're talking. Like you. <laughs> How you doing? You married? You married? Not married? Stay on that. You married? No, you're still there. You're married. That's okay. Then. I'll talk to you. Because I don't, I don't need nobody not married kill too much of my time. I'm old, but I ain't crazy. I ain't want to pay no bills and shit. I want you to laugh and enjoy yourself because I got a lot of, I got a lot of song to do. God has blessed me to record 429 records. 
He also never blessed me. I can remember at least 350 of them now. <laughs> Before I get started, she looking at me and saying, you don't remember that. <laughs> 75 years ago, I wrote a song, see, in a little shack down by the bay, not far from New Orleans. I met this pretty woman down there when I was about 19. She went and told her daddy she wanted to marry me, and the look on her daddy's face really was a sight to see. He said, get out of here with you, and don't you come back no more. When I went to meet a daddy like a young man in order, but he didn't want no blues singer like Bobby Rush to get married to his daughter. When I went by the house that day, he met me at the door. Dad, mom, big brother John, the damn dog named Bo. Saying, get out of here, and don't you come back no more. <laughs> when I sneaked down to get married to Jesus, do the sign of swear to take this woman for your lawful wife and not a one night love affair. Before I could open my mouth to say I do, guess who walked through the door? Dad, mom, big brother John, the damn dog named Bo. I thought right then if I wanted to get married anywhere, I had to find a way to elope. I decided I had to go to Las Vegas to get away from her nose and poke. Soon as I got to Las Vegas, the same day I walked in, that was all her kin, that damn dog again. <laughs> now I said that so you can laugh a little bit. <laughs> 